Hi, this is David. In the last video, I introduced Microsoft Cognitive Services, a set of REST APIs that allow you to take advantage of machine learning. And I specifically showed you the analyze image method within the computer vision API. In this video, I'm going to take it a step further. I'm actually build some applications that show you how to use these APIs. So we'll start with a C-sharp application. If you remember, if I come down to if I go back to here, there's some sample code here for C Sharp, and I can use that. There's also sample code for JavaScript and other languages as well. But what I want to do is build something kind of similar to this. Actually, I've already built it, and it is right here. What I have here, I'll just show it to you. I'll run this application. It's a WPF app, and I'm going to, um, what I've got is I've got a set of uh, URLs right here. So I don't have to type things in. I just want to point it to uh, this particular one is a picture of a kitten and a bird because the internet, of course, is filled with pictures of kittens. And I click Analyze Image and it comes back with a bunch of tags, cat, animal, white, blah, 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 a bird sitting on top of a cat. That's the, the caption or description of this. So I'm going to do that and it'll do that for different images that I select here. Here's the code. First thing I do is I just build up that combo box, just fill it up with some pictures here. I select the very first one. And then when the user clicks the button, this code runs. Display the word analyzing. I get the key here. I've made it a secret, although you saw it in the last video if you were watching. You can see what the key is. Uh, I, uh, I'm going to delete that entire resource group as soon as this is done recording, so that won't be useful to anyone. Um, but it's useful for me right now. And here I'm going to, uh, this is code that came right out of the the sample code. Uh, there's a, a class or a library for a, doing HTTP post. HTTP client, I want to add some header information here. I'm going to add some, uh, construct a URL right here with some parameters that I want. Visual features equals categories, description, adult color, faces, image, just basically everything in here. Language equals EN. I didn't specify the, the, the features like the um, uh, celebrities or the landmarks. I wasn't interested in that. And then right here, I want to make sure, by the way, that this is westus.api right there, and that's got to match what I have in my cognitive services here. So notice this is this URL right here is West API, and my act my super secret access key right here is right here. Those have to match. So that's important. It's a common mistake that you can make. All right, so now I've got a URL here that I'm going to post to. Um, and then the image URL I'm going to place in the body. I'm going to just get that out of this combo box right here, whatever the user selected. I'm going to build it up from, build up some JSON based on that image URL, URL colon, the URL that was selected inside of some curly brackets. Uh, turn it into a byte array. This is code that I may or may not have just copied right out of the sample. Um, and then right here, I'm going to take this byte data right here and use this code right here. This is how I post some code to a an endpoint. It's right here. It's uh, I create this uh, add the content type to the headers as application JSON, and then here client dot post async. The client is this HTTP library that I created at the top. Post async, which as you can probably imagine, says uh, <laughs> posts asynchronously to this URL endpoint the westus.api.cognitive.microsoft.com, et cetera. And in the body of that, I'll get this content right here, which I built up from this JSON. Um, that's it. It's, it's asynchronous. That The keyword here awaits says do it asynchronously. So nothing else is going to happen until, or nothing else in this method will happen until I get a return back from that. The rest of the application will still be responsive because it is asynchronous. But the next line here is actually the callback. I just make sure that I have a success code. In other words, the HTTP response was 200. And if it is, then I'm going to read this data right here. Con response content read as string async. That's just a string right here. And then I'm going to cast it as something called an image analysis result. And this is a really nice feature of C Sharp is that what I can do is in my models, I have this image analysis results. I know what the, what the model, the data is supposed to look like because I looked at the documentation out over here. In here, I got some documentation of what this return value should be. And I built a model based on that. And so for example, there's an array 
of category. So what's a category? Well, a category is a name and a score. A score is, of course, a, um, uh, a, a confidence index. How confident this? I know what uh, this adult concept is. So if I go to here, then I will get back things like is adult, is racy. Those are just Booleans, true, false. And I'll just get a score, adult score and racy score, all that stuff right here. So I get information back here, an array of tags, a description, a request ID, and which is just a string. So I'm actually going to cast this and get some hierarchical model, which is strongly typed, and then I can use that in C Sharp. And that's what this results is right here. I'll get something as an image analysis results, and then I can start drilling down into it. I want to know the results, dot description, dot captions. There could be multiple captions. I just want to make sure I have the first caption on here, uh, and then I'll display that in a text box. I want to loop through all of the result, dot description, dot tags, uh, loop through all those and put them in the box on the right. Um, I want to get results, dot adult, dot racy score, and store that in a variable. It's um, just a number right there. And then I have something that says, all right, if the score is above 0.3, then I want to display a special image indicating that this is something that's kind of shocking, kind of racy, etc. And then if it's an error, I won't do all that work here. I, I could analyze the error a little, little better, but in this case, I'm just going to add a, a text text to the screen and show what that error is. So that's what I'm going to do here. Um, and you can see that we already saw it in action here. But let's do it with a different image. I'll select this image right here and click Analyze Image. And it'll go out and it'll make that HTTP request. It'll post this picture of a bird as a JSON um, and get a response back. It was 200, so the caption was a bird flying on the air, all these tags right here, and so on. And here's my shocking one here, this one like there. Just It's not that shocking, but it, is, it has a racy score of like 0.31 because the dude's not wearing a shirt. Click Analyze Image, and I get this, and oh, there's my shocking image right here. Ah, I'm the person posing for the camera, man, clothing, holding, etc., and so on. So that's how I can do it in C Sharp. I'm going to close that right here and do something similar in Node. I built up a Node application right here. There's actually a README file in here if you want to look at it, um, and it tells you how to do this. I've got all this out on GitHub, and I didn't add the git key. You'll need to add this git key function in here. Um, but uh, uh, here's the code right here that actually does this. And then here, there's the URL I'm going to call. It's westus.api.cognitive.microsoft.com slash vision slash v2o slash analyze visual features equals description. That's all I really want here is description. Um, I'll get the key. I've kind of hidden that inside of another method here. Um, and then some of the options here. This is how you make a web service call from Node right here. It's a post to that URL up there, and it's um, content type. Here's the header information, content type, etc. cetera, and uh, message set encoding somewhere down here is the JSON. So right here, so once I, once I make this call, here is request.options right here. So I'll make the request right here, and then when it comes back, then I have my um, information that comes back right here. Here's the callback right here. I get the, part, the, the, inf the, the body of the JSON that comes back. I parse it out, and all I really want is message one dot, dot captions. In this case, I don't have to cast it to a specific object type because everything is dynamic in JavaScript. So JavaScript is, is kind of nice that way, but it's also, it forces you to make sure you spell everything correctly. For example, I put a capital C in there. It wouldn't work. And I get the, the captions here. I'm getting the same information in this case. All I care about here is the, the caption, the first caption, and then the confidence level, caption.confidence. I want to display that. And that's what all this results and web pages here is just <clears throat> writing out uh, this one. I, this one actually writes it out to a, a web page. It does output it to the screen right here. But if I want to go to this web page, I can. So let me run this thing here. And when I run it in the readme file, it actually tells me how to run it is. Um, so I'd go to the directory where it is. And I say node analyze image.js right there. I have to have node installed, of course, to do this. And that's what I got. I got the caption, a small boat in a body of water. I should have told you that I've hard-coded the name of the 
image right here. It's this image right here, which is this picture right there. It is a small boat in a body of water right there. Um, and then its confidence level is 97%. So I just rounded that to the nearest percent and displayed it as a percentage. It's also, if I go to this URL right here, I've built a web page to start showing it there. So localhost 8124 gets the same, a small boat to body work confidence level and so on. Looks like I'm going to have a rounding issue here. But I can work on that as in the future. I leave that as an exercise to the viewer. So in this video, I've built on the last video show introducing the analyzed image method of the computer vision API, and I've actually built some code both in Node JavaScript and in C Sharp and shown you how to implement that and run that and shown the samples of that. This is David. Thank you for watching. Thank you.